I dream of the library. It is a quiet place that I often turn to when I feel lonely or pensive. I dream of the library whenever I feel like revisiting childhood friends, or my first love, or what it was like to first lose a pet. I dream of the library every night. I cannot help but think that perhaps all of my life has been a dream, one I cannot remember, one I cannot help but try to remember, one that I try to record time and time again, but each time I am interrupted and each time it escapes me. I grab a quill in the silence, and from the darkness of my own sleep emerges an illuminated desk. I am bent over it, scrawling in a mad fury. I draw symbols. I can feel their power as I bring them forth from my mind and give them life through the ink. They whisper to me. I can hear them beneath the cry of the coyotes outside my cabin. In front of me there is a book bound in flesh. I touch it, and an evil presence immediately fills my breast. I am unsure of the cost of opening it, but I cannot help but feel it is my duty. It is my responsibility. It is my destiny. And so I open the book, and from it spills forth a river the color of the night sky. Vincent! A deep voice calls to me. It is ominous, and my hand recoils from the book in reflex. Vincent, the voice calls to me again. You must sacrifice. My hand moves to the quill. It shakes with fear and anticipation and curiosity and mad delight. I put the tip of my quill to the paper and write out. What must I sacrifice? The voice calls back to me. The world of man.